Hey beautiful souls, today we are about to create the most dreamy aesthetic scrapbook carousel that's going to make your Instagram feed look absolutely gorgeous. And listen, before we even start, I don't care if you're using Canva Free or Pro, we're making this for everyone. Plus, I'm spilling all the tea on how to split this perfectly for your Instagram. Oh my gosh, and I'm actually bursting to tell you that I'm launching my own site soon where you guys can get amazing freebies and some pro level templates at super affordable rates. Because obviously I want everyone to have access to gorgeous designs. But anyway, let's get into this magic. So first thing first, we are heading into Canva and I want you to click create a design. Now here is where people usually mess up, but not us. We are creating a 4 slide carousel, so we need to do some quick math. Don't worry, it's easy. Take 1080 and multiply it by 4, which gives us 4 320 pixels. Just type that custom size in and click create new design. Now you are looking at this massive blank canvas and you are probably thinking, what am I supposed to do with this? Don't panic, we are about to make it make sense. Go to file then settings then add guides click custom here's the magic set your columns to 4 and your gap to 0 click add guides and suddenly you've got these perfect little sections that are going to be your slides isn't that satisfying all right so now we need to give each slide a background frame head over to elements then frames and grab that basic square frame it's looking boring right now but trust the process drop it on your first slide and resize it to fit nicely then this is important start duplicating this frame across all your four slides you want them to look uniform and clean once you've got all four frames placed select them all and lock them why because we are about to go absolutely wild with our design elements and we don't want this moving around us okay now this is where things get really exciting we are going to pinterest yes pinterest is our best friend for this project search for paper as png or really any tone and paper edges that speak to your soul find one that gives you those vintage scrapbook vibes copy it and paste it straight into canva but here is where i like to get a little extra i'm creating a double layer tone paper effect make it bigger than you think you need and position it right between your first and second slide we want this to look seamless now duplicate that more tone paper flip it horizontal and start trimming any weird edges i usually make mine a bit thinner because i think it looks more realistic just chop both sides and adjust them until they fit together Here's a little trick I love. Flip the right side vertically too. Select both pieces, hold down Option or Alt if you're on PC and drag to create a duplicate. Now you are going to repeat the same process for every single slide transition. Yes, it takes a minute but the result is so worth it. Before we go any further, I need you to check out my Pinterest board. I'll drop the link in the description. I've literally curated every single element we are using in this tutorial because I absolutely know how overwhelming it can be to find those perfect pieces. Adding that iconic ID card. So I'm obsessed with this call me if you get lost ID card vibe. So here I'm grabbing it from my Pinterest board, copying it and pasting it to Canva. Now resize it to fit your first slide perfectly and add just a tiny bit of corner rounding, not too much. We want it to look authentic, position it right on the top of your first slide. Now if you are a Canva Pro user, you're going to want to use the image upscaler because it makes everything look so professional. If you're on the free version, don't worry, it's still going to look amazing. Here is where we add that little paper clip detail that makes Makes everything feel so real. Copy it from Pinterest board, paste it into Canva, and if you have Pro, remove that background. The paper clip should sit at the top center of your ID card. If you don't have Canva Pro, no problem. Drop a comment and I'll hook you up by a free background remover link. Creating perfect image spots. For the image placeholder on that ID card, just go to Elements and Frame, grab a square frame and position it right over the placeholder area. It's that simple. Time for Polaroids. Copy one from Pinterest, paste it in, resize it to fit your vision, and then add an image frame inside. This is where your actual photos are going to sit, so make sure it's positioned perfectly. Okay, this film strip is what's going to make your carousel look like a professional mood board. Copy it from Pinterest, paste it into Canva and remove the background. Make it bigger, tilt it slightly. We want an authentic film camera aesthetic. Position it on your second slide, then start adding image frames to every single spot on the strip. Fill up that entire thing because we want maximum visual impact. Digital camera details. Same process here. Copy that digital camera from Pinterest, paste it on your second slide, add an image frame to the screen area and send it to the back so it layers properly, layering even more elements. I'm adding a cute pasta sticker with digital camera. These little details are what make everything feel cohesive and thought out. Then I'm copying three more Polaroid frames from Pinterest and adding image placeholders above each one. We want lots of spots from photos because this is going to be a photo heavy carousel. Magazine overlay touch. I found this gorgeous Vogue style overlay and I'm literally obsessed 
processed. Copy it, paste it, remove that white background and paste it on your third slide. Add some black and white stickers below it, bring in some iPhone overlays and don't forget those image placeholders. We are creating layers and depth here. Now here, I'm adding more Polaroids to slide 3 with the same placeholder technique. I'm also throwing in an airdrop overlay because we are mixing that modern take vibe with vintage aesthetics, right? So here is some quick adjustments. Slide 1 was looking a little empty so I'm duplicating one of the Polaroids from slide 2 and moving it over. Sometimes you need to step back and see what needs balancing. The photo drop. This is the moment we've been building toward. Adding your actual photos. Go through each slide and start inserting your images into all the placeholders we created. Here's a crucial tip for the film strip. After you edit your images, select them all and send them behind using this shortcut. This makes it pop up in a real way. Now we are adding personality. Wrap emojis and stickers from Pinterest. Remove the backgrounds and scatter them around your images. This is where you can really let your creativity shine. And here again, I'm making some quick adjustments. I want to change the film strip colors. For that, we're going to edit, then effects, then do it on. Selecting custom, reversing the highlights to black and shadows to white, and boom, you've got a white film strip instead. Adding some text boxes. You hit Ctrl or Command plus T to add text boxes. Write your name next to issued, do on the ID card, add your birthday or whatever details you want below. Add meaningful text to your Polaroid frames to song, lyrics, dead, dates, inside jokes, whatever makes this carousel feel like you. And your scrapbook carousel is officially done. Go ahead and download it because we are about to make it Instagram ready. Head to my social boutique.co's Instagram grid maker and upload your masterpiece. Set the columns to match your carousel number. Select um, image cut to carousel and hit split image. Download each split images and you are ready to post. And here we just created something amazing together. If this tutorial helped you create something beautiful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I'm launching my real site so soon. If you got any questions about that free background remover or want more Canva hacks, drop them in the comments. I love chatting with you guys. Thanks for creating with me today and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye!